It has been a little while since I've played Terraria Journey Mode. The first time I have ever played Journey Mode, I have never even knew what it was because it was for it was brand new. I played it when it very first came out, and now I'm gonna go back to it today because I know a lot about Journey Mode and I understand how it works now. And yes, so this is going to be a Journey Mode video. If you guys want to learn anything about Journey Mode, well, this video is actually going to be for you. This isn't a tip video. This is just me playing around with journey mode and telling you guys how it actually works. I actually have uh, to make a new character for the journey mode. So we're gonna keep it like just like that. Wow, that's whack. And we're gonna go ahead and just keep the regular hair, change the hair color to red because I don't know, why not, right? Like a dark red, that's nice. Change the eye color to blue. Well, we're not gonna really do too much with this guy. All right, we're looking like a little robber here. We're just gonna create it. We're gonna name this one Journey Moaf. Moaf, we're gonna name it Moaf. Journey Moaf is, it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play and we have a, um, twi a Harbor of Twilight. This is actually the um, the thing I made la the last time. So this is the same world that we were in the last time. If you guys did not see the last video of my journey mode, well, this is actually going to be uh, the world that I made. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I recommend go looking at it. So what, so what you spawn in with journey mode, you spawn in with iron instead of copper tools, a Denley Fitch, Finch, Snaff, Snaff, I can't talk, okay? A torch, uh, 100 torches, 100 rope, a magic mirror, which we're gonna put in here, a grappling hook, which we're gonna put in our little grappling hook accessory, and we actually have the fledging wings, which aren't as good as you think they are, but they will do. This is a like a Terraria creative mode, but to use these types of things, you have to research a certain amount of items. Now, if I go in here and I put this in here, it says I have to research at least one of these to go back and get it again. Just like I have to research over a hundred tor- uh, actually, this is- so you have to- uh, yeah, I'm, I'm right about that, sorry. <laughs> you have to research a hundred torches to be able to grab a whole bunch of torches, 999 torches. Just like the same thing with the rope, and then when you have that rope, you can grab grab rope is ro ro grab rope is. Um, and now when it comes to the sword, we have we can do all this. It takes one to research all these just to get it inside to your little thing. And then now, if you go here, you have all the stuff. You can grab whatever you want. This is actually pretty cool considering that. Um, when you get into the actual places of, you know, journey mode, this is, uh, uh, this is actually pretty cool because you can actually get to the game with using a bunch of stuff like God mode enabled. You can, you can do so much just to get anything you want and, um, yeah, you can pretty much just do it. It's actually really cool. I did not. I didn't know how much you actually were going to need, but it's kind of like a cheating version of Terraria. It's not the hardest to do. I mean, if you want to, you can uh, do whatever you want with the world. You can do whatever, whatever you, it, it's awesome. And only journey characters can go into the world as well. You can't bring in your character into this world. So I'll probably be working on this character in my spare time and getting him to where he needs to be, probably cheating like I want to because this is what uh, this is what journey mode is all about. If they give you this stuff, wh why not use it, right? It's not really cheating if they if they give it to you if you think about it. So if they give you the option, make the options usable. Use the options as they want you to use them. This is actually um, really, really, really cool. I actually like journey mode. Did not expect them to actually release journey mode at all. I didn't actually expect them, but I mean, 2D Minecraft, everyone question mark, uh, like everyone's been saying for the last past few days of journey mode. This is great though. I like it. I like it. And um, this, we're going to build a house here just to make sure we are going to be safe at night. Be safe at night. Damn, I haven't played Traria in a long, long time, but here we go. Now, how much wood does it take to research? I think I'm gonna need exactly a hundred. And then if I go here and I go to blocks, here we go. We can grab so much wood. That's how you do it, guys. 
And I wonder how much um, uh, walls we need to get some walls. So how much of these do we need to research? See, I'm, I'm trying to get some stuff, researching some stuff here. It only takes one. It only takes one. And then if we go here, oh, well, we can search things. Uh, we won't need that until later. And then we can grab 99 of these. That is amazing. All right, let's just go ahead, start building our house. This is awesome. I'm already having a blast because, you know, I, you guys know how I suck. You know, you want to know what? If we have cheats here, why don't we just go with a big house? Why don't we go with the biggest house we can create so we can get some nice NPCs coming up in here? It, it'd be, um, it's going to be amazing to get those good old NPCs in here. Uh, with us today so um what is that oh that's an owl <laughs> that scared me <laughs> i did not know what that was i was scared i was actually scared that there was an ow owl here so that's amazing okay so um my little finch here is killing this guy i'm not like i said i'm not going to go um i'm not going to add anything so i want to I, I just want to keep and if you guys want to uh, actually see me uh keep playing this i will make a journey mode into an actual like thing um, to play because I uh, I know you guys like you, know, you guys like Terraria No, but um as I'm saying uh, you guys I'll actually keep playing this I'll make it into a, a actual like thing so I can you know We can get to the thing and see how much stuff we can actually research and it's I guess you can say it's another It's just like and it's actually really good the way they did it because if you can't bring characters into the journey world so when the world is journey, that means you can't duplicate items and get them. You can still play. This is just solely for like, I guess if you're, um, if you want to build something and, or do just do some cool stuff, it's, um, really amazing. So I think this is going to take, let's just make a whole bunch of these here just to make sure we have enough to, uh, research some walls here. It's going to take 400 walls. That's good. That's good. Now, if I go to the walls. Boom, we got so much walls here. I can even throw them away and then get them again. That's how good this is. That's how, this is how amazing this is. Now, I wonder how much, how much actual, like, can you imagine how much cosmic keys you would need to research? Oh my gosh. And that's, that's kind of a good thing about journey mode. Cause if you think about it, the way journey mode actually is, you have, I mean, once you have the item, why would like you want to, you, you know, you research it to get it back. But like, can you imagine like, like having stuff in your, um, inventory that you don't really need. So well, I guess once you're done with your journey mode, like trying to get everything, every item into your research, like list, like, uh, you know, like your creative list, I'll, I'll call it. Um, that's just pretty cool. Like, like you can do that. Uh, I, I'm just, wow, I, I, I'm speechless about this because it, you have something to do in Terraria. If that, I mean, if your goal is to fill up your whole little list there, um, then yeah. So I do have a grappling hook. Do have a grappling hook. Yes, I do. Indeed. And then we can go ahead and just do this here too. I'm also sorry for not making a video, guys. So I wonder how much magic mirrors it takes to research to get magic mirrors into your little thing. Um, cause, uh, I think magic mirrors are a little bit, I mean, I did need 400, um, wooden walls to, uh, get a, the actual, like, you know, things. So I made this big enough. Maybe I made it big enough to put some extra stuff in. We'll see. We'll see. So I need to figure out how much magic mirrors I need. Oh, I only need one. And then I can go ahead and grab... Material. Yeah, I can go. Oh, wow. I can grab as much as magic mirrors as I need now I'm not sure if you can actually add Journey characters into your original worlds. I'm not sure if that's actually true I'm not sure if you can do stuff like that if you can that's amazing I again would not see the, uh, the reason to actually add journey characters into original worlds in the first place considering that you should do everything in your original Terraria world by yourself make it more authentic every time i cheat in terraria i feel like ah man i'm just gonna go back i'm just gonna delete all this stuff and do it authentically because i just i just don't i i want to do it authentically i mean it, it it takes away from the game if i don't so how much dirt do i need i need 100 pieces of dirt but if we can get those 100 pieces of dirt easily and uh, that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and get some dirt let's get a whole bunch of dirt so i can 
You know, and this is another thing. You honestly don't need chest in dirty, uh, dirty mode and <laughs> journey mode. You don't need chest in uh, journey mode because, well, all you have to do is grab all the items and then research them. And then you can keep your chest as empty as possible. We got a potion. We'll see what we need when it comes to that because... That is uh, gonna take awesomeness. Here we go. How much dirt do we need? We needed a hundred uh, pieces of dirt. So let's go ahead and grab a hundred pieces of dirt. We're almost there. And just like that, I uh, got to get the dirt. All you have to do is grab them. You have as much as dirt as you want. Also, you can just throw all this stuff away, and you can throw everything away in your uh, in your inventory. Well, uh, I want to check that out though. I didn't do that one. And then, uh, yeah, keep your inventory as empty as you possibly can. And then you have space to, you know, go looking around for stuff because everything that you have is in this little thing right here, which is cool. They should uh, do like a thing instead of going and looking around for stuff. But there's so much items in Terraria that the likeliness of you being able to do this for a long time. So how much of these do I need? I need 20 of these potions. I think you need the. OK, so this is how I think it works. I actually think you need the amount, the max amount you can hold. You can only hold 30 potions. I think it's 30 potions. You can only hold 30 potions of each potion and they cut it down to 10. You can hold 999 and they cut down the blocks because maybe the blocks ain't as good. Let me mine down. Let me see what we can do with uh, some of the good old, you know, stuff. I wish I can. Ooh, look, it's the guide. The guide. I'm quite used to not having a home. Of course you're not. But anyways, um, what 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 can we do? See duplication menu. Now if we open up the time, let's we can change it to noon. That's good. That's good. Uh, but increase placement range. That's nice. All right. So uh, infection spread disabled enabled. We'll disable that for right now. I don't know. So we can have it in journey mode. We can have it in normal, or we can have it master. Uh huh. That's good. So I'm actually going to go ahead and mine down here. Um, already have some stuff to do. Oh, we don't have no glow sticks. Maybe we should find some jellyfish. I don't know um, where you can actually get glow, glow sticks from. All I know is that we need to find some materials to go down into the depth. If I get stone, we'll put it inside the little research menu right here. Go ahead, put it in the research menu. I need 100 stone like normal. I think all blocks can be like 100, I guess. Um, normally when you mine all the way down to the hell, underworld, whatever you want to call it, you, um, you usually have more than uh, 100 of those. So if we uh, go back to the duplication menu and go and grab some good old torches, just like, just like usual stuff, put them down. We need to see. I did not know these existed. Oh, how much iron ore can we... How much iron ore do we need? Probably a hundred, huh? Probably need a, uh, oh, oh, this is lead. Um, how much lead do we need? This is, uh, that's tin over there. So if I go grab the tin, how much tin do we need to uh, go ahead and get a, get tin in our duplication menu here? So if we go ahead and put the tin in the research, we need, actually, yep, we do. We need a hundred of each. Ooh, man. Can you imagine? Freaking, um, what you call it? You're, I can already see it right now. You're going to need exactly a hundred, probably over a hundred bits of, uh, can we actually duplicate money? Let me see. Oh, you need exactly a plat. You need a platinum for that. All right. So you can duplicate money too. That's amazing. And then you probably need a hundred, hundred platinum just to duplicate platinum. That is, although I do like the idea of journey mode because the fact that you have to earn everything before you uh, can duplicate it, that's a little, that's, that's a little bit cool. I like that. I like the idea of that. That's, I like it. How much blink root do you need? Let me see. Probably five. They probably do the five with the bushes. You know, just... Oh, nope. You need 25. And blink roots, they ain't really hard to get. You know, it's the works. The, you know, it's just the system. All right. So what can, whatever comes out of this... All right. We already have rope. We don't need that. 
you can't pick up the pots, so you can't really duplicate pots. So that's something that you're not going to be able to duplicate, but that's okay. I'm going to guess we need 100 for every block because, well, blocks are easy to get. Just go. I mean, you want to get 100 blocks, just walk, fly, do whatever you want to need to do to the uh, jungle. You're going to get way more than 100 of these bad boys. Yeah, so um, I'm going to assume we need 100 of every block to get um, uh, to duplicate them. But other than that. It's not that bad. I can already tell you, you are probably, you are going to need over probably a hundred diamonds um, just to duplicate those. And also the hard mode ore. Don't, like I said, don't get me started on the hard mode ore. Can you imagine getting a hundred of the hard mode ores? I, I, well, yeah, yeah, you can. It's just no one's ever seen it before. It's been a while. Is this tin or is this tungsten? This is tin. I don't know if I have tungsten. I think there's a difference between uh, tin and tungsten, uh, tungsten. I think you get tungsten with iron. I don't know. Well, let's just mine this. We have 30 of these. How much How much do we need? We only need five. Damn. Okay, now I can get pink gel. How much blue gel do we need? 99, I can imagine. Um, this is platinum. We need... Oh, nope, that's silver. We need 100 silver. I'm close to 110. Here's platinum. And I'm already gonna guess that you need a hundred platinum or yes, indeed. And how much I already have 32. So I don't know what I'm doing. That's a lot of what is that? Is that silver or platinum? I'm guessing it's silver. It sure is. Dude, if we get silver and we can like make a whole bunch of silver bars, can you imagine? That's a lot of and that's a lot of lead too, don't get me wrong. That's like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably end up taking all that stuff because I just, th th I'm just going to say right now, Terraria is a good game to stream. Oh, man. Oh, we need to also see how much um, life crystals it takes to duplicate them because um, I probably won't grow my hearts until I can duplicate all the life crystals. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because like, think about it. You using the life crystals or you, you duplicate them so you can get an unlimited amount just to freaking go and go ding 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 especially mana i should go around changing it tonight and actually freaking just going around man god mode i can't die going around and seeing how much uh stars it takes mana stars it takes to all right what's in here so we have three lesser healing potions we have seven pl we have 40 silver that's not bad we're doing good uh, wow. And where is the, uh, do we have a pressure plate in my inventory? Did I pick one up? So I guess you do need a chest so you can save up the items. Um, I was, didn't think about that. All right. Let, let me mine all this stuff here. So we, we have 81 silver. All right. Once we get to this silver, we are, we are golden guys, which is ironic <laughs> because we won't be golden. Oh, guys, 10 more. 10 more silver ore. How do you like that? <laughs> that is amazing. Let's keep going with this stuff. A shoe statue? Probably need a little bit of those. Oh, no, you only need one. All right, now I can have... Oh, yeah, I have a shoe statue. Oh, okay, now how much of how much of these do you need? I, I can already tell you. Oh, you only need one. Damn, that is amazing. Now I can just keep grabbing those. Whew. Is it because they're, uh oh, is it because they're rare? That was, okay. That scared me. I see, like I said, that's why I have God mode on it. So I don't have to, you know, travel back down here. That's like my, that was my only thought. I was like, oh, if I die, I'm gonna have to travel all the way back down here. I don't want to do that. So how much of these heart crystals do I need? I just, okay, never mind. We will check that in the, a, a later time. You ever hate when you try to do something and then you accidentally use something you don't, you never wanted to use? Ooh, we have a sapphire tree. Damn, don't mind if I do. Okay, I got a gem of that. How much of these? Five. We only. Oh, we got three of them. All right, so obviously you, go, you grow a tree. You're gonna. You're gonna get that. Oh, I'll take the star statue though. I think I can hook these up and um, it'll give me a star, which is good. Oh yeah, we found it boys. We found another one. Let's not use this one. <laughs> All right, how much do I need? 10. We can get 10 of those. 
I've got, I found a lot of these actually. I found like, they're not hard to find. Yes. We must live another day. We don't need to mine no more silver ever again. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. That, my folks, is a day to remember. We're actually uh, a thousand into the caverns. I don't think I'm that close to the underworld, but I do want to go to the underworld. Because if I get a guide doll, which I, I, th I, I can get a guide doll right now. I won't die. I know I'm pretty positive I won't die. And um, we're going to actually be able to research um, 10 in a minute. Well, I'm obviously not going to die. I have God mode on. But. All right. So we need a little bit more tin. And tins everywhere. So. But if I go to the underworld, I will be able to grab probably a guide doll. And, you know, research those. Beat the wall of flesh. Get into that. Uh. Get into that. Uh. Uh, see, journey mode is a, a nice little a mode to like vibe with. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like you can just vibe, you listen to music, not have like not have to be annoyed by like dying if you don't want to. Because we all know di dying was annoying. Like you know, you oh you oh I died in the cave. Gotta go back down. Not trying to rap here, but it ain't gonna. It's just you know, just we no one. I mean, come on, no one likes dying in Terraria and have to go to go back down where they were in the cave. And I'm gonna be able to research that tin, um, but yeah, that, that's that's why I think journey mode is of like a legit vibe. It, it's your vibe. It's your vibe. You want a vibe in Terraria? Come on down to journey mode. We got what you want. We got what you need. Oh, I didn't know. Ah, never knew that. God, it took me so long to figure out that I had to do that. What do you call that stupid? Only I knew that you had the favorite shit with alt. I didn't know you had the favorite shit with alt. Oh, learning. I'm learning some new stuff here, guys. All right. I'm having a blast. And I'm learning new stuff in Terraria. I need to find some like cinematic shit because like I am setting up. Some oh, here we are. Here we are. Fellers. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we can get hellfire arrows, but we probably. Gonna oh, how much of these hats do I need? Got a hat. How much of those do I need? I need 99 hell, uh, hellfire arrows. How much of those? 99 of those. Oh, we're close to those. I'll kill you right here, homie. How much? I can probably take all this stuff and research it for good use. What about these? Like, these probably only need one, right? Like, you need to find every table, every bookshelf, every bed, every door, uh, every hell forge, which is probably... I can't grab. All right, guys. Real quick, we're going to take a look. At finding a chest in this uh, world real quick. If we can find the surface chest. We're going to see how much chest it takes. Because, oh, right then and there. All right, so we're, we're going to loot the chest. How much chest does it take? Because, oh, yes, yes. We've done stone. And we have done torches. All enough to make the great furnace. But not just to make the furnace, we can make another one because we. Uh, I want to research the other one. Now we can just throw all this away because we don't need it. Cool, right? That's awesome. Now we also done silver. We have we've done silver before. We we've done um, what you call it. All right, so we need twenty five bars of these to actually research. I think that's over twenty five bars. I I don't know if you guys think. You, I don't think you guys know that that's over twenty five bars. Okay. Bam, we've done silver before we've done anything else. It doesn't even matter now that I have these because check it out. If I go here, I go here. Here's the bars of silver. Just grab a whole bunch of those, right? And we can grab, oh, uh, we can actually, oh, we don't have, okay, never mind. What are we gonna, oh, um, what are we gonna do if we don't have, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything if we don't have, yeah, we ain't gonna do anything if we don't have, um, an anvil there. So look at that. There's two stars falling down. That's great. All right, guys. So if you guys like the video, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are new here, consider subscribing to the channel because only 99% of the people that are watching my channel ain't subscribed. So what you doing there? Watch my video, uh, and not subscribing. All right. All right. You guys can change your mind in the end. I'm just saying. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.